Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video on Bubble. In this video, I have you guys the full Quincy guide because I was looking at my channel and realized I didn't have one for Quincy, so I decided to make this video. So if you guys haven't been doing it, like and subscribe. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. So obviously, once when you first load in, you're gonna have to pick Quincy. It should just be the blue one. You pick your name, you pick your gender, boom, you don't have the name. Um, then you're probably gonna want to type in the codes. You have to reach grade four to, um, you know, type in the code. Um, so just do literally like three of these missions right here you just create a party and then you tap on these and then boom you can create a party and then go hit grade for it and then type in the codes now you're gonna have to worry about what build you want to run so the best weapon for twinsies at the current moment well this doesn't even work so i can't tell you um the best weapon for twinsies at the moment is gonna be this one right here the splat and sword um but jogworm shield is also very good those are the two that i personally recommend um if you do end up wanting to go a hotada build which is like the ABA style, um, you know, fist combat, then you can go, uh, I believe it's called Warden. Warden is going to be the best weapon for those builds. But once when you get your weapon, then you're going to have to pick out what build you actually want to do. You're probably actually going to have to do that before you decide that. Um, the ones that I personally recommend for Quincy is going to be 25 keto or full keto uh, with 40 speed. But that is basically strictly if you're going uh, splatten, I'm not going to lie. Um, so yeah, speed... Keto, Octada, and Kendo. They all work really well, but it kind of depends. You can go a hybrid build on Kendo. You can go 25 into Kendo, get their skill boxes, and then no speed. You can go full into Keto, because Keto is very strong for Twins. You can go full into Octada. It is really all up to you, because you have that many uh, options as a Twinsy. Twinsy, there's nothing really bad with it. All of them are very much so viable. So kind of just pick one that suits your play style. And then you're gonna have to pick your clan. The best clan for Quincy's is probably okay. Why do the weapons show on clan? Yo, this name is put. Um, but the best pl clan is probably going to be Lavar. It used to be the B clan, but then they removed um they removed its spray regen, so now it literally only gives 10 HP. So I believe Lavar is gonna be the best one. Um, and then for your actual shrift or volt standing, I personally recommend Superstar. Um, I think it's just really good. I feel like anyone new to the game can understand it very easily. The mythicals are really good. They just take, um, they're kind of hard to understand how their movesets work. So that's why I'm going to personally recommend Superstar. But once when you guys do it, end up getting your build, then you're going to want to start leveling up. Now for Quincy's, it's super easy. You literally just do these missions until you're like, I think grade one. And then when you're grade one, you just have to run around and kill people. Um, it's very easy as a Quincy. Because this is literally all that you have to do is do these missions on repeat um, until you reach, I think it's grade one. And then you just have to start killing some of the other races. And that's also super easy as a Quincy because Quincy's are the least popular race. So basically anyone that you run into is going to be something other than a Quincy. So it just makes it super easy. Um, like actually super, super easy. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, once when you're done with this, boom, you'll kill these. Um, the early on ones, you'll see yourself grading up way faster. If you guys ever question yourself, um, you know, if you do like 30 missions and you're still not grade up, uh, you guys can go to KT and um, actually check your X XP. I have a video explaining the location of where to check your XP. Um, but yeah, you just go there and check your XP. And then you do that until you hit grade 2, I believe. Grade 2 is when you can actually get your shrift, which is going to basically be your core moveset. Like I said, you can get superstar, death dealing, balance, really whatever you want. Um, it's completely up to you. But yeah, once when you actually reach grade 2 is when you start um, being able to do that. Now, if I find an image, I'll put the requirements on the screen. But I believe the requirements are 5 kills of um, both different races. So 5 Soul Reapers, 5 Oran cars. And then you're gonna have to kill, I believe it's two Menos is two Menaces, um, one Adrucha, and then I believe it's like 10, 20 um normal fish bones. So yeah, something like that. Something like that is how you get shrift. Um, and it used to be where it would reset if you died, but that's not the case anymore. So don't worry about dying. Just try to get that. So once again, I'll put it all on text on the screen now. But it's like 10 to 20 fish bones. It is, I believe, one Adrucha. It could be two, though. I would kill two just in case, because I had to kill two for mine. Um, and then it is one or two Menoses as well. If you guys don't know what the Menoses are, it's the giant black things. 
Um, and then you have to kill five Oran card players. It doesn't matter what grade they are. And five Soul Reaper players. It does not matter what grade they are. And then you can actually go to you, uh, your Strift. Your Strift is right here. You talk to this statue right here. And then you talk to it. Boom. Uh, if you still need some requirements, it will tell you what you need. It will pop up on your screen. Um, but if you do complete it, then you'll be assigned a random letter. And then you actually get your Strift. Now you guys are pretty much good to go. I'm not going to lie. Now you just go back to the um, leaderboard or the mission board. Go to the mission board. You level up some more. All the way until elite or semi-elite, depending on where you want to stop. And then you go do the normal stuff. Now, the next thing that I want to explain is going to be, um, you know, let's and vault standing. Because that is what comes after you hitting max level. So once we're near elite grade or semi-elite, really whenever you want to start. Because semi-elite is when you get all your stat points. Elite grade is just for, you know, some other game modes and some other stuff. But yeah, once when you actually hit those, then you guys are going to need to collect Hidoku fragments. Um, I have a video explaining how to get them. But basically, the best way to get them is ranked or um, the boss raid game mode. I also have a video on the location for the boss raid game mode. Um, but yeah, you guys just farm those over and over again. Once when you get 10 um, normal hog frags, you guys can get lesser let's, which will basically just be a way worse version. All lesser let's does is give you a speed boost and some different looking arrows. Then you need a true hog frag, which is way rarer. Uh, the best way for that is definitely going to be boss raids. It's like one of the easiest ways to get it. Or you guys can trade for it. If you play 2v2s ranked, um, you can get an essence and then trade for it, which would also be a very easy way to get that. Um, but yeah, once we get that true frag, now you have true let's, which true let's is obviously going to be way better. Uh, you get a variant. The variant that you want is boost in my personal opinion but they're all really good um so yeah you did true let's boom now you guys feel free to do volt standing now volt standing is actually up here but you will first have to do all the requirements so stage one's requirement is going to be 25 crates stage two's requirement is going to be you killing one bawa boss which is located in waco mundo and spawns once every 40 minutes um and then you are also going to have to kill, i believe it's 15 elite players and then you're also going to have to kill eight hollows. It does not reset on death. I do not think. I don't think that mission resets on death. Uh, well, actually, not fully. So basically, if you do 60 hollows and then you die, that will reset. But if you do the 80 hollows, that mission is completely done. But then let's say you do seven elite raids. That one can still reset, but your hollows will still be fine. Uh, but you talk to this guy for your vault standing once when you complete all the requirements. You're going to want to be in a super unpopulated, unlaggy server. And then you're just going to want to go to a safe spot so nobody can thank you while you're doing it. And then you'll look it up inside the style like this and parry at the right time. I'm not going to lie, it is pretty difficult. And some of you guys might not be able to do it in general. Um, there is some cheeses for it, I believe. So, you know, you guys can go on YouTube and search those up. But once you give Volt Sandy, you pretty much complete your thing as a Quincy. Um, so, yeah. I'll just give a real quick brief way of how to do it fully if you know you skip to the end of the video or something so you're gonna spawn in you're gonna hit grade four you're gonna decide what build you want then you're gonna do missions all the way until grade two then you're going to get your shrift which is five arantar players five soul reaper players one um adrucha two menaces and like 10 ish hollows which are gonna be the fish bones not the tiny ones. It's going to have to be the fish bones, the taller ones. Once when you're done with that, you talk to the statue and then you can get your shrift. Now, then you just level up. You keep leveling up until you're around semi-elite or elite. That is when I would personally recommend starting to go for your let or volt standing. It really depends on which one you want to do first. I personally recommend getting let's before even starting volt standing missions. But that's once again completely up to you. Then... Once when you get let's, which is just going to be 10 hog frags and one true frag, you just play 2v2s ranked for that, or you guys can do boss raids for that. Um, but boss raids, you will need to find two friends, and obviously 2v2s, you'll need one friend. Um, but yeah, you do those. Boom. Pretty simple. Um, the keybind to activate it is K, by the way. I know I did not explain that before. And then you guys are going to want to go for your volt standing. This is the way that I would personally do a 20 progression. Um, obviously, in between this, you will need to get skill boxes as well for your build. Um, but yeah, then you guys want, want to go do full standing. You find a super unpopulated server. You do 25 raids. You kill one Bawa boss in Waco. 
you um, kill 80 hollows, and then you also kill, I believe, 15 elite players in a row. Once when you do all that, you can go up to the castle up here and just talk to the guy at the very top and make sure that you're inside a low, uh, laggy, very unlaggy server because if you are lagging, you won't be able to do it at all because it is a parry test. But once when you're done with that, boom, you go inside the parry test. Hopefully you complete it. And then if you do, boom, you have Volt Sending and then you are pretty much done with your build. The only other thing that you can get is this attachment right here, which is just going to be a rare drop from Clan Wars or the Baba Baba boss that you will farm anyways while you're doing raids. But that is pretty much the complete guide to Quincy's. If there's any questions that you guys may have, feel free to leave them inside the comments. But that's it for me. If you guys ended up enjoying it, like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.